Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I have planned for the baby's very first birthday party, which is exactly three months away today. He turns nine months old today. So I'm kind of early. And the reason why I wanted to get such a big head start is because I want to get as much done as possible so that I'm not scrambling to get everything done at the last minute, which would be less stress for me. And also, if I can go ahead and start buying things little by little as I go along now, um, I won't have to buy everything all at once, which will be a little bit easier for us financially because we do have four kids. So anyway, every time I plan a birthday party, I always make a list. I did it for my son's birthday party this year, my daughter's. I do it for all my kids, and it keeps me organized. It lets me know... Um, you know exactly what I have to do, um, what I have to buy, um, ideas that I have or I've gotten from the internet, things like that. So the theme for the baby's first birthday party is a circus theme. And I have three older kids, so I wanted to get a birthday theme that I haven't done before. And I always wanted to do a circus party and I never got the chance. So I figured I would do a circus theme. Um, mainly too because um, the decor and everything um, can just be mainly colors uh, because when you go to the circus or carnival it's all bright colors and so a lot of that stuff like the decor I can do myself so I have my list here and every time I uh, start to plan a birthday party I get the theme I make my guest list um, right now, I'm not exactly sure how many people are coming. Um, it's not going to be a huge party, and I'm not inviting a ton of people. I think probably around 40 people, which sounds like a lot, but for us, especially for a first birthday party, it's not that huge. So um, I'm planning to make about 24 yeah, 24 gift bags, and I don't want to make any more than that. So I make my list. I get my... Um, idea for my invitations, which I'm going to be doing myself. Um, I say, put like what I want to do, like cupcakes or cakes. Um, I get the food idea down, so I want to do popcorn. I'm going to do a candy table or a sweets table. Um, I want to do some corn dogs and some chalupas, which is like an open-faced taco. Um, and so this is all the ideas for the food. Okay, now I have ideas for his gifts. I have like what I want the pinata to look like. The goodie bags, I have what I want to put in the goodie bags. Now these are just ideas that I have. Some of this stuff I'll do, some of it I won't do, depending on how much time it's going to take and how much money it's going to take. I have the idea for what I want the centerpieces to look like, the decorations, the colors that I'm using, um you know, what kind of um, table uh, coverings I need, um, you know, the description for the centerpieces, and then the games. I'm planning on renting a moon bounce, like a jumping house, and I know that the kids are going to be occupied with that, so I'm not going to have a ton of games. I plan on having only three games, so I'm going to do like the knock the pins game, down i'm going to do a toss game like a ring toss game and i'm going to do uh pin the clown pin the nose on the clown um and i'll show those games in another video and then of course ideas that i have like it would be nice if i could run a uh, run a uh, hire a clown but i don't know if we'll be able to do that i might um just get some face paint and paint um do some face painting for the kids so I also drew these up. I saw these on the internet and I thought they would make great centerpieces. So I drew the pictures of what I wanted them to look like so that when I got um, the materials, I could look back on this. Um, so these are the cutouts for the centerpieces. Um, these are the banners that I made. So I put where I want these banners to go. These are the signs that I made. Um, an idea of how to arrange the cupcakes in a number one, some decoration ideas, how I want the balloons to look, how I want the cups to look, how I want a table to look with the streamers and the banner. Um, and then these are like ideas that I can use 
um, little toys that the kids have that I can use as decoration because they go with the circus theme. And then this is a idea I saw on the internet where somebody used streamers as like a curtain. And I thought that was really pretty. So that's an idea I have. And then over here, I have an idea of what I want the invitations to look like. So I'm going to do the invitations myself. And I plan on using a picture of um, the baby. And then this is like the wordage that I have. This is just an idea. Um, and then, of course, I have like all the posters that I want to make. And then over here... I was actually looking at hiring a company to come in and do, you know, nachos, popcorn, snow cones, cotton candy, things like that. And then, of course, they rent you a moon bounce for four hours, and it's only $200. But then I was thinking about it and thinking about it, and I think I might just call them and ask them how much just for the moon bounce. I did call another company to find out, and they're renting a moon bounce for about $90 for three hours. So if they can match that price, I will only rent the Moon Bounce and I will do all of this stuff myself um, because I think I'll be able to save money that way. I was trying to make it less work for me, but I think I'd rather spend less money and do the work myself. So that's what I have so far for the baby's birthday. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I do have a tentative budget. I'm trying not to go over... $400 and so I'm hoping that we can get everything that I want done for that price because I do have my other son's party after this in September and um, I want to make sure that we're not spending a crazy amount of money on these parties so um, that's his first birthday party planning video <laughs>